Good morning everyone. In today's discourse on electrical measurement, we will talk about instrument order, classification and error. The contents of this discourse are introduction, order of instrument, instrument classification and errors in measurement. Let's start with the definition of instrument. An instrument is defined as the device or the system which is designed in such a way that it maintains the functional relationship between a prescribed property of a substance and a physical variable and communicates this relationship to a human observer by some ways or means. Instrumentation is the branch of engineering that primarily deals with sensing, measurement and control. It is the study of operation and functionality of instruments. Use of measuring instruments depend upon particular applications. Measurement is made for the following purposes. To monitor and control any process and operation and to carry out analysis based on this measurement. All instruments indicate a particular quantity. These are called readings of particular system. In normal sense, readings do not perform controlling. It is made just for monitoring. In case after reading, we want to change the value of output, then we control our instrument. For instance, if we measure body temperature and we find that somebody has fever, we apply medication to bring back the body temperature to normal. Prediction and original value of outcome comes in to analyze the output. For any result to be meaningful, there are two basic requirements. The standard should be accurately defined and commonly accepted and the procedure must be provable. The desired parameters of any instrument are accuracy, sensitivity and reproducibility while the undesired parameters are drift, dead zone and error. The order of a system is defined by the number of independent energy storage elements present in the system and intuitively by the highest order of the linear differential equation that describes the system. In a transfer function representation, the order is the highest exponent in the transfer function. There are three types of orders of instrument, zero order, first order and second order. The zero order system is the response often desired in instruments because it means that the block does not alter the time response. All instruments have a zero order instrument when they give a static output in response to a static input. Example is where to engage. The system whose input output equation is a first order differential equation is called a first order system. The order of the differential equation is the highest degree of derivative present in the equation. First order system contains only one energy storing element. Mass damper system and mass heating system are examples of first order system. A system whose input output equation is a second order differential equation is called a second order system. There are a number of factors that make second order systems important. They are simple and exhibit oscillations and overshoot. Mass spring damper system and elastic circuits are example of second order system. The numerical expressions for a zero order, first order and second order system are shown in this particular slide. We also see the graphical representation of the zeroth order, first order and second order system. Here we see the electrical parameters as measuring references. Principally there are four electrical parameters, they are voltage, power, current and resistance. The resistance also called impedance can further be classified into three components, resistance, inductance and capacitance. The instrument used for measuring the physical and electrical quantities is known as the measuring instrument. The term measurement means the comparison between two quantities of the same unit. 
the magnitude of one of the quantity is unknown and it is compared with the predefined value. The result of the comparison is obtained in numerical values. The measuring instrument is categorized into three types as electrical instrument, electronic instrument and mechanical instrument. The electrical instrument is used for measuring electrical parameters like current, voltage, power. For example, ammeter, voltmeter and wattmeter are electrical instruments. The electronic instrument has quick response time. The instrument provides a quick response as compared to the electrical and the mechanical instrument. Digital voltmeter, CRO are examples of electronic instruments. The mechanical instrument is used for measuring the physical quantities. This instrument is suitable for measuring the static and stable conditions because the instrument is unable to give the response to the dynamic condition. The picture given below depicts a broad classification of instruments. Instrument is broadly classified into three categories electronic, electrical and mechanical. The electronic is further categorized as digital instruments. The electrical ones are of two types absolute and secondary. The absolute are of indirect in nature and the secondary are of direct in nature. These secondary direct instruments are further classified into analog and digital instruments. The analog instruments further are subdivided into deflecting and null deflection. Deflecting instruments can be indicating, integrating and recording. The indicating types are deflection type and null output type. The mechanical instruments can be self-operated or power operated. Continuing from the previous classification of instruments, analog instruments are broadly categorized into three based on measuring current, based on method and based on reading. Based on measuring current, they are categorized into three types, DC instrument, AC instrument and AC-DC instrument. Based on method, it can be direct or compression method and based on reading, it can be indicating, integrating and recording. The indicating types are electromechanical or electronic in nature. An absolute instrument gives the value of measured quantities regarding the physical constant. The physical constant means the angle of deflection, degree and meter constant. Mathematical calculations are required for knowing the value of a physical constant. The tangent galvanometer is an example of the absolute instrument. In tangent galvanometer, the magnitude of current passing through the coil is determined by the tangent of the angle of the deflection of the coil. <coughs> the horizontal concept of the earth's magnetic field, radius, and the number of turns of wire, they all are important factors in tangent galvanometer. The deflection showing the magnitude of the measuring quantities are the primary necessities of a secondary instrument. The calibration of these instruments with the standard instrument is essential for the measurement. The output of this type of device is directly obtained and no mathematical calculation is required for knowing their value. Digital instrument gives the output in the numeric form. The instrument is more accurate as compared to the analog instrument because no human error occurs in the reading. Analog instrument is the instrument whose output varies continuously. The analog instrument has the pointer which shows the magnitude of the measurable quantity. The analog device is further classified into null type and deflection type. The null type instrument, the zero or the null deflection indicates the magnitude of the measured quantity. The instrument has high accuracy and sensitivity. In null deflection instrument, one known and one unknown quantity are used. When the value of the known and the unknown measuring quantities are equal, the pointer shows the zero or the null deflection. The null deflection instrument is used in the potentiometer and in galvanometer for obtaining the null point. The deflection type, uh, type instrument is 
that in which the value of the measuring quantity is determined through the deflection of the pointer. The measuring quantity deflects the pointer of the moving system of the instrument which is fixed on the calibrated scale. Thus, the magnitude of the measuring quantity is known. Moving coil ammeter is an example of deflection type instrument. As already mentioned, instruments can be indicating, indicating and recording. Indicating instruments indicate the magnitude of the measured quantity. The indicating instrument has the dial which moves on a graduated scale. Examples of voltmeter, ammeter, power factor meter. The indicating instruments measure the total energy supplied at a particular interval of time. The total energy measured by the instrument is the product of the time and the measured electrical quantity. For example, energy meter, watt hour meter. The instrument that records the circuit condition at a particular interval of time is known as a recording instrument. The moving system of the recording instrument carries a pin which lightly touches on the paper sheet. The movement of the coil is traced on a paper sheet. The curve drawn on the paper shows the variation in the measurement of the electrical quantities. Examples are ECG machines and EEG machines. The next discussion is errors in measurement. The measurement error is defined as the difference between the true or the actual value and the measured value. The true value is the average of the infinite number of measurements and the measured value is any precise value at any particular point. Error is classified as shown in the picture below into systematic error, random error, gross error and violation. The systematic error is further classified into theoretical instrument observation operation and system interaction. The theoretical error further is categorized as knowledge base and rule base and the instrument error are categorized as loading effect, instrument misuse and inherent shortcoming. Random error has two types noise and environment, gross error of two types, blunder and chaotic error, and violation are of two types, routine and exceptional. The gross error which occurs because of the human mistake, it can only be avoided by taking the reading more carefully. Systematic errors are instrumental errors, inherent misuse or loading, environmental errors and observation errors and random errors are caused by sudden change in the atmospheric condition. This type of errors remain even after the removal of the systematic error. Hence, this type of error is called residual error. Instrumental error arises due to the three main reasons. Inherent shortcoming of the instrument, such types of errors are inbuilt in instruments because of their mechanical structure. Misuse of instrument, the error occurs in the instrument because of the fault of the operator. A good instrument used in an unintelligent way may give an erroneous result. Loading effect, it is the most common type of error which is caused by the instrument while measuring. For example, when the voltmeter is connected to the high resistance circuit, it gives a misleading reading and when it is connected to the low resistance circuit, it gives the dependable reading. This means that the voltmeter has a loading effect on the circuit. Environmental errors are due to the external condition of the measuring devices. Such types of errors mainly occur due to the effect of temperature, pressure, humidity, dust, vibration or because of the magnetic or electrostatic field. The corrective measures employed to eliminate or to reduce these under undesirable effects are arrangement should be made to keep the environment or condition as constant as possible, using the equipment which is free from these effects by using the techniques which will eliminate the effect of these disturbances by applying the computed corrections. 
observational errors are such errors due to the wrong observation of the reading. There are many sources of observational error. For example, the pointer of a voltmeter resides slightly above the surface of the scale. Thus, an error occurs because of parallax unless the line of vision of the observer is exactly above the pointer. To minimize the parallax error, highly accurate meters are provided with mirrored scales. Here in this picture, we see the different causes and the minimizing methods for systematic and random errors. For systematic errors, the causes are zero error and incorrect calibration. And the minimizing methods are by improving the structure of the apparatus. And for random error, the causes are mostly parallax, incorrect using of the apparatus. And that can be minimized by repeatedly taking the reading. Thank you for being such a good audience. These are the reference from where all this information are put. Thank you.